Yangın sözlerine semeşler. Yansana. Welcome back to the Nest for the second semester. I'm Abdi Oli. And I'm Helena Herrera. Abdi and I look forward to sharing all the wonderful stories about our Hoover community. On this week's Nest, you will learn about the champions in Miss Woodfield's class, ROTC striving for number one, and see the longest cheese pole in Nest history. But first, last Tuesday was International Women's Day, and Hoover hosted a panel discussion with women who inspire. Last week, Hoover High School hosted Illumina's Woman Who Inspires panel. This was broadcast to the whole nation, but also here at Hoover to empower young female audiences. The panelists who spoke were women in male-dominated professions, which include the military and tech companies. What made you decide to help host this event? Um, I decided to help host the event because I run the Ed Girls here at um, at Hoover High School and they were interested in promoting women that were in industry, especially in STEM, which is part of the information technology wave of the Ed Girls. And it was about women and their role in workplaces was what we do with the Ed Girls as well as AOIT. Honestly, I really enjoy that there's, I'm finally seeing women in very, like, empowering positions in tech. It's honestly, it is something that, wow, finally, we finally have, and it's finally time about it, but seeing that inspires me so much to keep working harder. Students from the It Girls Club were presented the opportunity of being student moderators to ask these amazing, empowering women questions upon their experience of being in their careers. I was given the opportunity to interview the inspiring women and I think that has been a really great um, challenge for me but I was able to learn a lot throughout the way. Young female women watching these successful women starting from bottom and going all the way to the top has definitely had like a big impact because they saw that they could do it. And so, it, like, for me personally, I believe that I could do it because I saw people, inspirational people, that were, like, that have very similar effects or had very similar, like, similar difficulties, just like me. And so, like, I could also achieve that, too. In what ways were you involved in the process of the seminar? I was involved in the process of the seminar by asking questions and learning more about their stories. If you're interested in the STEM fields or looking for some fun activities, Illumina is hosting science and engineering festivals throughout San Diego. To learn more about these festivals, visit www.lovestemsd.org. Over a thousand Hoover students watch the webcast featuring inspiring women in the STEM field. From inspiring women to two inspiring service clubs on campus. Nest reporters featured the Chavistas Club and Key Club. Today, we visit the Chavistas Club in the mini theater in the back quad. They meet every Friday during lunch and are always working to better the community. So the mission of the Caesar Shop Service Club is to inspire young leaders to believe in themselves and to know that they can make a difference. So we believe that you know the youth are our leaders for 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 tomorrow especially in uh, in this uh, community of city heights we do community service pod projects recently we've done like uh, several cleanups and like a stenciling storm drains project well initially i joined because some of my friends joined but then i realized how important this club is to better my community uh, students have the opportunity to become officers and with once they become officers, they engage in leadership roles, and I think that's one of the valuable uh, things that students here from the Cedar Top Services get out of. I stayed in it all through middle school and now high school, um, and I've taken on several leadership positions, and now I'm acting as president. So it's taught me many leadership skills and the importance of giving back to my community. And our next project is going to involve um, the cell, or like the pro prohibition of selling flavored um, tobacco products. The Cesar Chavez Club was founded in 2001 and it now works with students to help better the community. Students are also going to Washington DC very soon to learn about this country and hopefully themselves. I'm actually looking forward to the DC trip during spring break. If you want to help your community and connect with new people, make sure to come to the meetings every Friday during lunch in the mini theater and you can contribute ideas and give feedback. Today's topic is Key Club. Key Club is an international service organization for high school students, also known as Kiwanis International. The Key Club is basically one of the biggest, oldest clubs that exist. Um, our club is 
like up to 30 people. But a big thing we do is leadership stuff, um, creating a community service group, and just making a lot of friends. Our, our, our students are really close together. Where are the meetings? The meetings are here in room 257, the second floor of the uh, 200 building during lunch on Wednesdays. So I became president this year and I was really like involved and I wanted to get more involved as um, a senior and I've been in since sophomore year so yeah I became interested and I decided to run for president. The students at Hoover Key Club they're able to um, have uh, service events and they're able to like contribute to their society through these events for example like cleanups or like um, writing letters or cards to um, like elderly. Um, for me it, created, it helped me like have a safe space at school. Um, I, I really enjoyed it and I was able to like um, be more active in my community. I joined the club because I wanted to be involved in something new this school year. Uh, last school year was chaotic because it's all online and I felt like this club was going to be an opportunity for me to grow and make a uh, good use of my free time. Uh, Fall Rally South was this event we went to back in November, uh, we went to Six Flags and it was really fun because there were like divisions from around. We were just all there and we would cheer for our LTGs and yeah, we would go on rides and just spread our cheer and see which group division had the most cheer. Key Club is a fun club that helps you gain leadership skills and they do events that help out the community. It is a safe place where you can make new friends. If you are interested, come check it out on Room 257 Wednesdays during lunch. Hoover students, through their work in Service Club, have made a solid impact on the community. Do you like to dance? Next up, we learn about students involved in the after-school club, Transcendence. Come join us today as we explore Transcendence, a dance club at Hoover High School. They are located near the gate at the front quad where the theater and choir clubs practice. Hi, my name is Seha Vor, a teaching artist from Transcendence Youth Arts. We do hip-hop. I try to teach in different styles of hip-hop from isolations and pop locking and all that, but mainly hip-hop. I joined Transcendence because I like to dance and I want to learn how to dance. I've been to dance since I was a little kid. I've always been playing just dance and that's what really got me here. Everybody here is nice, so kind of just get along with everybody. This club is open to everyone, regardless of dance experience or grade level. They learn new dances every week, so feel free to join. What I hope to accomplish is for students to step up and have the confidence to dance in front of everyone. You know, as you see behind me, this is a dance that we just learned today and they're doing amazing. People are really friendly and like the, the overall mood is like really fun. Not everyone will be into sports or whatnot, so providing dance for the community is just another way to escape. If you're looking for a new place to express yourself or just to have fun, Come join Transcendence after school on Wednesdays in room 1712 for about an hour. From dancers to future movers and shakers, Nest reporters take us to Miss Woodfield's English class to meet the next whiz kids in the financial fields. Last week, 10th grade average students instructed by Ms. Woodfield competed in the Junior Achievement Stock Market Challenge. The competition featured 100 teams from over six county high schools. What influenced you to educate students about on this topic? Uh, my own experience with the stock market and um, students telling me they wanted to learn about the stock market. What are the main topics you educate them on? Um, I am going off of a curriculum from Junior Achievement, which is all about learning what the stock market is, what stocks are, how to buy, how to trade, how to sell stocks, and when to buy and trade stocks. What are the benefits of this academic? Um, it teaches you a lot about how to finance and how to know when it's good to like get into the market. It helps a lot with um, it shows you a lot about how the stock market works. We learned how to manage our money more and how to spend it more wisely and how to invest in certain companies and how to sell and restock them. Using what they've learned about the stock market leading up to the competition, Hoover students were able to win first and second place. 
Ms. Woodfield goes into detail about the competition. My three AVID classes are doing the Junior Achievement Take Stock of Your Life Stock Market Challenge today. We're going up against multiple other schools, not only in San Diego Unified, but other school districts. And for an hour, we are buying and trading $500,000, quote unquote, worth of stocks. And which team earns the most money with buying and trading stocks over the next hour? Since both first and second place winners are from Hoover, the trophy will be arriving this week. Congratulations to the winners in Miss Woodfield's class for bringing home the trophies. ROTC is also gunning for big awards. Second Lieutenant Jennifer Rodriguez explains. On Saturday, February 26, Hoover's JROTC hosted the Cadet Challenge here at Hoover High School for the first time in three years. We would like to give a special thanks to our cheerleaders, ASB, and our school mascot for helping out in the JROTC Cadet Challenge that was hosted for 13 schools in the brigade. All 13 schools were competing for the Cadet Challenge trophy of four rounds, which consisted of the crab walk, relay race, basketball throw, and medicine ball throw. Although Hoover didn't win the competition, they at least took a trophy home for third place in the male relay race. JROTC, and uh, let's take some trophies home. Huh? Um, my name is uh, Lieutenant Colonel Mark Eisen. I'm the senior army instructor for the Hoover High School JROTC program. The Stillwell Trophy was established in 1958, and uh, in the most simplest term, it's the Super Bowl trophy for the JROTC program in the San Diego Unified School District. And every year it's awarded to the top JROTC program based on the points awarded for each of those competitions that Stillwell Trophy is awarded at the end of the school year. And right now we're sitting uh, in second place out of 13 schools. So it's the dedication that the cadets are, are putting in uh, coming at, uh, after school to practice uh, for whichever event it is. Uh, we have a couple events coming up. Um, we're very super excited. We're on an upward trend. We're moving. Um, and with this upbeat positive movement, we just want to say number two and number one, look out, we're coming after you. Feels fantastic, and uh, it cannot be said more than that, that the kids that we have in students have uh, worked so hard and diligently and just to try to get there. I am Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Quach Alexandra. Uh, I have been in the JRTC program for four years. Hoover High School hasn't been top two in the last like 60 years, so we are really glad that we're able to accomplish something this year. Thank you to our Army instructors and our battalion commander for giving us a short and brief explanation of what the Stillwell Trophy is and what the duties of the battalion commander are here at Hoover High School. They're seeing that Hoover actually is a competitive school and that they have excellent students. Hooray! Hooray! Here to introduce the newly built esports arena that is in the library here today. Right. Uh, so the uh, arena was built because the district had wanted to start up a esports league, um, and uh, the Mr. Babino let Mr. Wetzel know uh, about it, uh, about the idea, and he said okay. And uh, took a little bit to happen. The shutdown kind of helped. Uh, push things back, uh, but now we finally uh, kind of got our uh, room together. And so we have about 10 computers here, um, and so we can have a t couple different game or uh, teams going and playing uh, several different games. Where is this new arena located? Uh, this, this arena is located in the library in room 408. What is the difference between the esports club in your classroom and the esports arena in the library? All right, so uh, Mr. Wetzel's classroom has been more kind of the casual and then kind of the general meeting um, room for most of the uh, club members. Uh, and then this room is the main purpose is going to be for the team uh, practices when we can try to get uh, some of the competitive uh, play going. Um, if we can get the competitive teams going, um, then students can compete for scholarships. Yeah, I love the eSports Arena. It's really great. We got new equipment, new monitors, and the chairs are really nice too. What games do you play in the arena? We play a lot of games from Apex, Rocket League, Valorant. There's many more, but those are just some of the ones I've played. How would someone join eSports? Is there progress or do you just come by? You can easily just come by Mr. Wetzel's room in the new building. 
Hoover's spring sports season has begun. One spring sport, boys volleyball is our focus for today's nest. Last Wednesday night, the boys JV and varsity volleyball team battled against Morris High School. The G- JV team lost zero sets to two, but Hoover showed intensity and strong effort during the match. My name is uh, Coach Aiden. I am the Hoover JV volleyball coach, uh, and I have been coaching for about four years now. Uh, what made you want to teach for the Hoover volleyball team? Um, well, I've been playing since uh, I was in high school. I played here uh, for Coach Tom, and um, you know, volleyball just kind of been one of my things growing up, and uh, I enjoy coaching and playing it. Um, at this level. I think for varsity, uh, you know, they'll have a good chance uh, to make it to playoffs. Um, you know, I think um, me and Coach Tom, uh, we both have uh, high hopes for, you know, the, the varsity team. And then for my JV team, you know, it's, it's, it's everyone's first year, so uh, it is going to be kind of tough getting through the season, but I, I do believe that we can pick it up the, in the second half of the season. Later that night, Varsity also succumbed to Morris losing one set of three. Hoover lost the first two sets, rallied to win the third, but was unable to make the comeback. Hi, I'm Thomas Tom, and I'm the boys and girls volleyball coach here at Hoover High School. Uh, my predictions are that uh, hopefully make playoffs this year. Um, and maybe second in league. Uh, my name is Justin Doan and I'm a senior for the volleyball team. Uh, what made you want to join the Hoover volleyball team? Um, to, de- to develop leadership and make new friends. Okay. How do you think the season will play out for Hoover? I think it'll be alright. Um, I feel like we're gonna have fun and uh, make some good playouts. The boys volleyball team hopes to rebound this Thursday away against Liberty Charter. Also, come support the New Look softball team this Friday at home against Mount Miguel starting right after school. CBS News Entertainment Student Television. Now, prepare to die. There are just hundreds of snakes in this temple just waiting for us to show up. What? Why aren't they biting that guy? The movie consists of Sandra Bullock writing what she thought to be a fictional story to be later kidnapped by Dan Radcliffe and was tasked to find the so-called Lost City. She thought she was alone in this journey, but to her rescue is the fictional character of the book, Channing Tatum, aka Dash. He believed that he was the real Dash in the book. I believe you're the one who can help me find its treasure. I have to respectfully decline. I'm afraid I must insist. Unchain me! That's your seatbelt. I'm gonna rescue her. This movie consists of comedy, adventure, and thrill, and it's coming out in theaters near you on March 25th, 2022. Hey guys, today's the debut of Lovely Looks. I'm Abby, this is Amanda, and Marlene, who are featuring on today's episode where she'll take us on a thrifting trip and show us her tips and tricks on how to build an outfit. Our goal for today is to try to see how many items we can purchase with only $30. For today, we'll be taking you guys to two different thrift stores, Goodwill and Ambit's. The first stop we're going to do is Goodwill. Hey guys, so I have these pants right here and I want to see if they fit, but unfortunately the fitting rooms are not open. So one trick that you could do is put your arm in the waistband until your elbow and see if it fits. And if it does, then it will most likely fit. Another one is to put their waistband around your neck and if it goes all the way, then it most likely will fit too. So those are two things that you could do to make sure they fit. So here we are at our second stop at Ambit so we decided to check this well and we came across these uh, with a uh, cleanup, they would look brand new and they're only six dollars. Make sure to check the end of the rack because that's where most people leave their good times. Also don't forget to check your accessories because you don't know what you'll find also in the first section. Another thing you could do to save some coin, you can bring your student ID to the register and you'll get a student discount off your purchase. We ended up going slightly over budget and ended with a total of $32, but this is everything we were able to buy within that price. 
The benefits of thrifting not only include cheap clothing, but also make the world a better place by recycling and donating to charities. Hi Cardinals, in this week's episode of Hungry Bird, we're trying Korean corn dogs from Two Hands Corn Dogs, which is located in Kearney Mesa, San Diego. Two Hands decided to open up bringing Korean style to American corn dogs. This place has some good and unique combinations and the best prices, as well as great customer service. We ordered the five piece mega box that had five of their different corn dogs and on the side, we ordered their famous dirty fries and an horchata slush. Overall, Oh, this was mid. Just kidding, it was definitely a 10 out of 10. Thanks for watching The Nest. After the show, stick around for another Cardinal Raffle with Mr. Babino to see if you win. Even if you don't win, remember, Wednesdays, Wednesdays are awesome. awesome. Cardinals, I want to start off by sharing my appreciation with you. Hey, things have not been entirely easy transitioning back to school, but you know what? You continue to show up, you continue to be present, and you continue to show your cardinal pride. Thank you for filling my cup with joy every single day. Let's go celebrate some cardinal pride. So first and foremost, I have a new addition here. I will assure you that Cardi was not harmed. We are just repairing our box and Cardi allowed me to use their head for this raffle. So what are we giving out first? We're giving out- Taco shop. Oh, taco yeah. shop on me? Yes, talk about me. Oh, I like that. Thank you so much. Held my wallet a little bit. Okay, here we go. Let's pull out a card. Okay. You got this. Yes. And the winner of Taco Shop on you is... Loi Tran. Nice job, Loi. Taco Shop on you. Here we are with my son. He is that. Yes, I'm here. I'm ready. You ready for uh, to give out some Cardinal Pride merch? Yes, I Let's am. do it. <laughs> he said, yes, I am, Dad. <laughs> All right, pulled out. Let's do it. <laughs> My man. And the winner is? Michelle Hoffman. Michelle Hoffman, congrats. And we have Lizette here. You got a card there? Yeah. Put it in there. I got to mix them up now. Yeah, I'm just saying, you know, put it on the top. I see what you're trying to do there, Lizette. Let's get, let's give out some Who Ride Bucks. Hey, Cardi's good. Cardi's good. Cardi's kind. His head's fine. Conrad Nyberg, Who Ride Bucks, congrats. Part of my lunch crew here. What are we giving out? Um, taco shop. Taco shop. What are we giving out? Boba. Boba on Babino. Hey -o! All right, here we go. <laughs> there we go. The, the taco shop on me first goes to. I don't know. Osiris Aguilar. Taco shop on me. And Boba on Babino. Um, dad. Da da We've got Dan, yo, nice job, Dan. We've got Mr. Roberts here, our newest CSA here at Hoover High School. Mr. Roberts, coming from Lincoln, what is your, what do you like most about Hoover High School? The great staff and kids here. They make me happy every day. You guys make it easy. Amen, love that. All right, Mr. Roberts, we're gonna go out some Hoover merch because you need some Hoover merch. You need some Hoover merch, sir, and the winner is Angel Rubio. Nice work, Angel. This well-coordinated crew, girls basketball represented here. I wish I was as cool to like pull these colors off. You guys, much cooler than me. What are we giving out today? Um, taco shop. Taco shop. Hoover merch. Hoover merch, all right, let's do it. Pull it out. And the winner is? Kimberly De Alba. Kimberly. And the winner is? McKay, McKay. McCaw Walker. Nice work. Thank you, ladies. We got Nova here. Girls lacrosse. They're still looking for girls. They're competing every day, but they want more. If you're interested, four o'clock on the turf field. Nova, is that correct? Nova, we are going to give out Boba on Babino. You ready? Let's pick the winner. Nova, I know you have several cards in here. I'm just saying, what if you picked out your card? And the winner is... Nan Nguyen, ID 44637. Nice job. We have a gamer here. I see an Xbox shirt. Did you know that we have an eSports team? Did you know that we have an eSports arena at Hoover High School? If you're interested, go see Mr. Wetzel in the 100 building. It's legit, let me tell you. 
We're gonna give out some taco shrub on me. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's see the winners. And the winner is Jerry Gomez, taco shop on me. We got ASB in the house right here. Can we just give some props and shout outs to ASB for this lunch, like environment, the music, the games. Man, I appreciate you guys tremendously. What are we giving out? Boba on Babino. Boba on Babino and? Boba on Babino. Boba on Babino, let's go. Pick it out. Uh, Pablo Morales. Ronnie Alonso. Ronnie Alonso, Pablo Morales, Boba on Babino. What are we giving out? Taco stuff on you. Of course. Let's do it. Um, and the winner is? Citali Arriola. Nice Citali work, Citali. Arriola. Taco shop on me. I've got, I've got girls softball here representing. Please come out. Oh, we got another girls softball here. Please come out. This Friday, home game. We're playing Mount McGill. We got to take him down. That's where I taught. I taught at Mount McGill, so we got to take down Mount McGill. Let's go. You ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What are we giving out? We're getting out Boba on Babs. Boba on Babs. Let's yeah. do it. Shout out to Brielle Easter. Boba on Babs. No, I see you. Jennifer Jennifer Marquina, 354427. Nice job, Jennifer. My man here. You excited for graduation? Yes. Dude, I'm, I'm super proud of you. Thank you. Super proud of you, man. All right, let's get it done. What are we giving out? Hoover merch. Let's do it. Love to see that Cardinal Red here. Love to see that Cardinal Pride. And the winner is Astrid Zaraleta. Zaraleta. I think that's a good one. Congrats. Cardinal Spring Break coming up. Let's finish strong until then. Hey, every single day you have the opportunity to wake up and be the best version of yourself. I appreciate you. I love you. Who rides?